Hi, I'm Asik from 4D Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a 4D Vino with an ultrasonic sensor. We are going to use the ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance of an object and show this graphically. The ultrasonic sensor has a transmitter which sends ultrasonic signals and a receiver which receives the ultrasonic signal after it bounced off a nearby object. The sensor calculates the distance of the object by measuring how long the signal took to come back. For this project, we will need a Forduino, one ultrasonic sensor, breadboard and some jumper cables. We are using a TS60101 3-pin ultrasonic sensor. However, you can easily modify the code to use the standard 4-pin ultrasonic sensor. The main difference between these two sensors are that the 4-pin ultrasonic sensor has two separate pins for the trigger and the echo lines but in the 3-pin sensor both trigger and the echo are tied to one pin. To make our circuit we are going to plug the ultrasonic sensor into the breadboard. VCC will go to the 5 volt supply of the Forduino. The ground goes to ground of the Forduino. And finally the signal pin goes to digital pin 7 on our Forduino. Now we are complete with our circuit. Let's analyze the Forduino code. You can find the complete code for this project at our website. Click on the Forduino project to open in Workshop 4 IDE. Most of the code here are part of the skeleton code. This is to initiate communication between Atmel controller and the Picasso GPU. And this is already done for you. You can see pin D7 is used to trigger the ultrasonic sensor. The sensor is triggered by a high pulse of 2 microseconds or more. But it is best to give a short pulse first and then give this high pulse to ensure the sensor receives a clean high pulse. The same pin is used to read the reflected signal. The signal is a high pulse and its duration is the time in microseconds since the signal is transmitted till it is received by the sensor. And this time is saved in the variable called duration. But we are interested in the distance of the object not the time. So we will calculate the distance using this time and it is done in this function called microseconds to centimeters. And finally you will display the distance you calculated in the cool gauge if the distance is between 0 and 100. If it is more than 100 centimeters we will regardless display it as 100 centimeters. This is because the cool gauge is set to take a maximum value of 100 centimeters. You can change this in the object inspector to the value you want it to be. Incorporating these kinds of widgets into your Forduino project is very simple. Just drag and drop the widget in what you see is what you get area and paste the code into the editor by clicking this button and you can manipulate the widget using simple Arduino code. That's all for the programming. Now connect your Forduino to your PC. Make sure you are connected to the right COM port. In my case, it's COM3. And simply click on COM and load button. This will complete the compilation of the code and load the code into your Forduino. The Workshop 4 will request you to insert a micro SD card to the PC in order to save the widget images. Insert a micro SD card and select the appropriate drive and press OK. If your micro SD card already has the graphics, you can skip this step by simply clicking no thanks. There you go. Now you know how to use the ultrasonic sensor and the Forduino to measure the distance of an object. This could be used in a wide range of applications such as collision avoidance, position control, level sensing and so on. I hope you enjoyed this instructional video. If you are interested in similar project videos, 
please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.